Hi everyone, this is Tan, and welcome to a new series where I'm going to be ranking uh, a lot of different things. Today I have my good friend Michael joining me. I would say I'm Batman, but not this time. Because that's because we are ranking the Batman actors from live action and animation. We both love Batman. He's one of my favorite pop culture characters. Uh, same with you, Michael, right? Yeah, he's my favorite superhero. Good choice. And hopefully we agree on a lot more than that. So... <laughs> Yeah. This is a tier list we have, and I think the easiest way to go through this is we're going to be ranking them 1 through 10 is to kind of start at the top and bottom. So for me, I think number one's between Christian Bale, Batman, and Kevin Conroy. Both are amazing as the character. Both have a really good, believable Bruce Wayne, who's also kind of an a-hole. Um, I think where it comes down to is their Batman interpretation and i think between the two you know i love kevin conroy and, you know may he rest in peace he did a lot of things for the character of batman um right. but i think but i think christian bale just taps into more of that unhinged personality if you will more of that oh shoot i'm actually like scared of this guy and i think batman needs to have that so i would go bale one conroy two i think those are the top two um, I'm good to go either way. So, Michael, this is a really up to you, putting you on the spot here. <laughs> yeah, Christian Bale. He's he's my favorite Batman. He's the Batman I grew up watching. He's a Batman I grew up watching from Batman Begins, Dark Knight. I remember seeing the Dark Knight Rises in theaters back in to, back in 2012, at least three or four times, and just and always. And I always enjoy seeing the actor, you know, portray the character. He really just taps in on that vengeance side of Batman in that trilogy, which is what I like about him. Yeah. And Kevin Con and Kevin Conroy's Batman, his voice for the character, whether if it's an animated show, some of the animated movies, the Video Arkham games, games yeah, games, <laughs> his voice is just iconic with Batman and. And I can't think of another, you know, like voice actor who would portray Batman in the animation, video game, or, you know, just animation in general. May he rest in peace. But um, I'm fine. I'm more than fine with putting those two at S tier if you are, or yeah, oh, just one and two. Or doing one, two. Oh, okay. I agree more. <laughs> yeah, I think um, another thing for me is that it's also I'm counting the Bruce Wayne. I think Bale has a really good Bruce Wayne because a lot of the live action Bruce Waynes kind of aren't the best. Uh, we'll kind of get into that. Um, but yeah, love them here. Um, I also we both really like Bale's Batman voice. I never really got the hate. I get like people like, oh, it sounds too like rough. I'm like. He's supposed to kind of sound that way. You know, he's yeah. <laughs> like supposed to sound like a monster of the night. So I never really kind of got that hate. I can uh, see why I don't know what those people are thinking about. I can maybe see if you don't love it, but when this came out, people memed on it. They like it more though. Okay. Oh, that's good. So they one and two, Michael. I think next it'll be good to do ten and nine. Would you say Clooney at ten and then Val Kilmer at nine? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Um, with Clooney, I mean, he doesn't really play Batman. It feels like he plays more like James Bond than actual <laughs> Batman. Yeah, goofy, goofy uh, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong with that. Um, <laughs> whips out a bat credit card. Yeah, I mean. You could probably, I mean, I've never heard this, but people will say, like, oh, it's the writing, but I'm like, even then, he could do better. And yeah. I like his Bruce Wayne. His Bruce Wayne is fine, but I don't know. He's 10. Yeah, yeah he's, his Bruce Wayne is fine, but his acting couldn't save him for the lines he had to read for that movie. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, even if he had, like, a better script, even if he had, like, say, the Dark Knight script, I don't know if he would do that great. Because I just don't think he fits Batman. Um, uh -huh. 
And then Val, Val Kilmer at nine, um, you know, he's just kind of unmemorable. I've seen clips of Batman Forever, and, like, he does fine, but he doesn't really leave a lasting mark. He has his fans, True. but I can, I can see why. He's not, like, corny, but... Michael, I know you've seen Batman Forever. What did you think of him as Batman? Uh, his portrayal of Batman, I can't agree with you more. It's it's just forgettable. Well, you know, like you forget, you know, like later on that he even played Batman. Yeah, I think he's probably the least memorable. I don't think he's like corny bad, but he's just kind of there. Yeah, yeah, he's just there. Yeah, basically, he's just there. <laughs> okay, so we got the first two and the last two out. So we basically have three through eight. So let's go with um. Michael Keaton Batman. So a lot of people love Michael Keaton Batman. They're like, he's the best Batman. He's the version of Batman in live action. I just don't, you know, um, really subscribe to that notion. I don't think he's bad, but he he just does a good job, but there's nothing that is outstanding about it. Now, I will say in The Flash, um, he was good with it, but like even his Bruce Wayne, I don't love. I think... He does a solid job, nothing more. I would maybe have him at five because I would maybe put Affleck and um, Pattinson above him. How how do you feel about that, Michael? Yeah, I'd say five is a good place. And for people who say, like, Michael Keaton is their Batman, I I can see why because those people probably – probably grew up you know like around the time when his film mm-hmm. came out and that's a batman they grew up with similarly with christian bale with me he's so i can see why he's not a bad batman he's no. a great batman but he's not my batman yeah i think too because i saw i saw the bale batman movies not when i was young so i didn't really grow up and i still love bale and i think keaton like yeah he was good cool action yeah, but not like amazing who are you having at yeah. three? I was going to say Battinson at three and Affleck at four, or would you have a different order? Yeah, I would agree with that. Battinson at third and Affleck at fourth. Yeah, the only thing with um, Battinson, like I love that movie. I love the Batman. Love his portrayal of Batman in the shadows. His Bruce Wayne, though, like, I, I just, he's fine. He's good. I get Matt Reeves wanted to do a different take, but I don't know. What what do you think of his Batman? Like, I love his Batman, but his Bruce Wayne pulls it down a bit. Um, I didn't really mind his Bruce Wayne that much when I saw the Batman. And um, I thought it brought on, you know, like, different elements of Bruce Wayne, one who doesn't really focus on the Gotham City as Bruce Wayne rather than, you know, like as the Batman and focuses on uh, Gotham City. I like I like that take on Battinson's Batman and um really different. But his Batman I really like. It brought on more of that detective feel mm-hmm. for for his character in the Batman. And and it shows that it shows how he's kind of starting up as the Batman with some of the gadgets he has, like his flight suit, suit when he was, when he soared from the building, if you you remember that scene, Tanner. Yes, that was a good moment. I know some people think it's a bit corny, but I don't know, I liked it. (laughs) A bit mixed on it, but but, um, yeah, he's a great Batman. Um, real quick, who, real quick. I don't mean to get off topic, but who's that guy next to the Lego Batman? That's um the Batman from Gotham. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> are you able to are you able to discuss him next after Batfleck? Yes. yes. All right, thank so, you. So, um, one more thing about Panson here. I think you could argue that his bat, like his acting in Batman, is the best acting role in a Batman movie, like. I love Michael Keaton in other movies, The Founder, um, Spotlight, ton of great movies, but he acts well as Batman. Bale's a terrific actor, but maybe you could argue him, but I love Robert Pattinson as an actor. 
as Batman. I think that shows through. And then Batflick, we, uh, we both love, and I mean love, the um, Dark Knight Rises movie. Um, and this movie <laughs> is highly inspired by not right, Dark Knight Returns. Right? The one? You're what, good. The yeah, animated it's, it's one. Dark, yeah, Dark Knight Returns. Oh, it's so close because uh, <laughs> Rises and Returns yeah. always gets me. But no worries. Um, yeah, very. Oh, hot. oh yeah. But, oh, yeah. People in the comments don't criticize them. Don't criticize them. You made a mistake. Anyway, yes. You yes. Go. Um. <laughs> but yeah, Batfleck very inspired by that take, and he does a great job. He's physically imposing. Love his Bruce Wayne more with his gruff, tough, done with everything. His Batman is legit scary. Like. I don't say that about Pattinson, kind of, but I'm like, Ben Affleck Batman really has that feel with him. I don't see him as much as, like, the crime fighting Batman as much. I see him more as what he is, is the old Batman, the Justice League leader Batman. Um, but I don't yeah. see him as fighting crime as much. But yeah, I think 4 is a really good spot for him. Because I, like yeah. uh, I like his Bruce Wayne more than Keaton's. Oh, it's Bruce Wayne more than Keaton's. Ooh, that, that's a good one. I got to think on. But yeah, his Batman, I, I agree with you. Oh, he 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 plays a, a more of a well, more of a well experienced Batman rather than a fresh out of the new Batman, you know, just getting started up with the superhero life. But he's he. God, I forgot how to say this, but uh, basically, yeah, something I agree with you is that Batfleck, he plays a Batman and that doesn't deal with crime rather than, the, rather than you know, he teams up with the Justice League because, well, all we've seen him, all we've seen him in movies is with the Justice League and not on his own. Yeah, I do. Uh, I know Michael really wishes we got the uh, the solo movie. That would have been sweet. Still hurts even thinking about it. <laughs> um, it's it's tough, man. Been. It's tough. But yeah, um, I, I think, yeah, Ben Affleck's just a good actor. Um, do you remember, before we move on to the Gotham Batman, <laughs> do you remember when, yeah. ben, when Ben Affleck got casted? What did you think of it? Like, I was kind of neutral, but I know people really hated it when it first happened. <laughs> I was neutral about it as well. I didn't really know what to think about it because, well, he got mm -hmm. casted when I was 11 and, well, I didn't really have the IQ to really think about it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I was neutral on it when he was next as Batman. Yeah, I was but, too. Uh, but with the Gotham Batman, are you able to make him the new 10? Because... I haven't seen his acting performance. Uh, I don't know if you have through clips or if you've seen the Gotham show. I haven't. Okay, so he, I would have him. Okay, so David Mazus is his name. I, I love it. I think his Bruce Wayne is really good for a young Bruce Wayne. It was good acting. I'm like, this guy kind of has a bit of the Christian Bale, like kind of loose, but like kind of trying to get his life together ability. Uh, Bruce and Alfred's like their their relationship on the show is really good. His Batman though, yeah, the suit's pretty corny, but his acting, I just, I just kind of don't love it. I I think he's like he's more Batman than Clooney, but I would have have him at nine because like I think Kilmer at least like has a good suit and acts like Batman while when David Mazus is Batman, I'm like, okay, this is like something from Riverdale. Love him as Bruce Wayne, but not as Batman. So are you good with that? Him at nine? Yeah, I'm good with that. Not going to lie. When I saw that image, you could have fooled me and said that that was Catwoman, Catwoman from, from the Batman. The Batman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like who, who is that Batman? <laughs> Um, but yeah, great Bruce Wayne, but Batman. I know the show's not a Batman show, but yeah, yeah. Gotham as a whole, Michael, it's 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 weird. There's some good stuff, but it's really weird, and I don't know. I, yeah, I've heard. Uh, <laughs> I I watched the first three seasons, and I'm like, okay, that was that was a show. That was a show. 
So that leaves kind of the two more comedic Batmans, Adam West and Lego Batman. I grew up with Adam West Batman. The soldier for me, you know, he's the Justice, Captain of Justice, but he is missing a lot of the Batman elements. But to be fair, that wasn't really how Batman was back in the day. I would be fine with him at seven and Lego Batman at six. Would you feel good with that, Michael? Um, yeah, I feel good. I feel good about that. And I like the Lego Batman more than Adam West Batman. <laughs> yeah, because like Lego Batman, he is funny, but there's some like good stuff. Like in the Lego Batman movie, there's some like legit emotional yeah. moments there. And... Yeah, and and real quick before we get to the Lego Batman movie, the Adam West Batman, I agree with you that the the Batman he was trying to portray isn't you know like a serious tough grunt Batman like the like Batfleck, like he was supposed. To, you're supposed to be, you know, like more of a, you know, like goofy, bit of a goofy Batman, but also really on the detective side of things. And I grew, and I grew up a bit with him as well, so I can't really hate on him. He, he he's a classic. Yeah, I really liked um how you mentioned the detective side because that's something the movie always had the detectiveness, and that's how Batman was back in the day. That's how he was. He was a fun, goofy character. He wasn't as dark and serious. So I think why Adam West works as being a goofy Batman and George Clooney doesn't because at the time for Adam West, Batman was goofy. With George Clooney, we had serious Batman. Um, yeah. And then Will Arnett, great voice for Lego Batman. Um, good character stuff. Um, wish we got the Lego Batman too. Um, yeah, same. But... Deserves a sequel. Awesome movie, like legit, really good. Yeah. Um, I feel I feel like the movie is underrated. Would Would you agree with that? Yeah, I I think the Lego movie's better, but not by that much. Really? <laughs> yeah, I like the Lego movie more, but it's close. I I, I would agree it's underrated because like people mention the Lego movie as this animation giant, but they never mention Lego Batman. So. Yeah. Yeah, they never do. Oh, which honestly, I like that movie. Which honestly, I like. I like the Lego Batman movie more than the Lego movie. I can see that they're both really good. <laughs> yeah, and maybe it's my favorite animated movie. I, don't know, I still need to tell. I still need to tell if it is with my personal opinion. But yeah, but yeah, I really liked it. It's. <laughs> Um, what can I Funny. say about this? Lego yeah, Batman, hilarious, hilarious. Great, great oh, love Lord. letter to Batman. Yes, the amount of super villains <laughs> were in the movie. Whether if it's Batman villains, Batman villains you've never heard of, or just villains from different movies like The Matrix. I love King that Kong, so much. Or the Ring. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just first seeing that in theater, you're just like, what the. <laughs> Because I went into this, so I, quick story here, so I went into the Lego Batman movie kind of concerned because the trailers kind of looked fine, like they were looking okay, I'm like, why not see it, I love Batman, I had no idea the other villains were there, so I'm like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, it was like Endgame before Endgame, my reaction, I'm like, whoa, whoa, there's King Kong, there's Godzilla, this is awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah. How do you feel about... I really like that as a completed list, Michael. Would you change anything? No, I wouldn't. I'm satisfied the way it looked. Yeah, I think that's a pretty accurate representation. So we have Bale as one, Conroy at two, Pattinson at three, Affleck at four, Keaton at five, Will Arnett at six, Adam West at seven, Kilmar at eight, The Gotham Batman, David Mazzusa at nine, and then Clooney at ten. I feel like every Batman, like, number, like, Adam West up is great, really. So, it was, it's kind of tough doing these, having someone at seven. But, yeah, Michael, thank you for joining me. There will definitely be more of these in the future. We have a lot recorded, and I'll uh, see you all next time. Thanks for joining me, Michael. Hey, thank you for inviting me. I'm Paul, and we'll see you all next time. Take care.